Well, I'm sorry, I definitely lost my train of thought because because there's these my cast people behind is you. amazing. Right behind her. What's up, you guys? We have Laura Marana, of course. I'm Ryland Adams, and you guys, we are at the special screening of Bad Hair Day. Oh my goodness. OMG, but I have to say that this movie, it premieres on Friday the 13th yes, on Disney Channel. That's Bad a little Hair freaky. Day on Bad Luck Day. Bad Luck I mean, Day. to be honest, it completely fits because Monica, the character I play, has the worst luck ever on this day. So, yay. Okay, so I have to say, this movie is about something we can all relate to a tragic hair day. Yes, so. and it's also about just having one of the worst days of your life ever. Of your life ever. On one of the most important days of her life, which is prom. So what do we need to know about this film? Okay, well you need to know, you're gonna have to laugh. I mean, it's just, of course. you're gonna have to laugh. It's like, just, it's happening. It's like a buddy cop movie. Oh my gosh. You know, it's, it's action packed and it's honestly, for all ages and like for all genders, for everyone because, um, Lee Allen Baker, this is one of the first, I think, Disney movies that has had, like, an adult as a lead, and I think that's so cool. I'm sorry, I definitely lost my train of thought because Cause there's these my beautiful cast people behind is you. amazing. Right behind her. And <laughs> okay, well, I have to say, you get photographed a lot. So, is there a particular event where you're like, that hair was bad? Uh, yes. One time I went to a movie premiere right after I was working on Austin Allen, I had to do my own hair and makeup. Not good. I sometimes can curl my hair. Most of the time, I cannot. So that was one of the days I couldn't, and okay. it was great. <laughs> Crazy moments on set of this movie. Well, I don't think I would ever do this again, but I had to do my own stunt driving. Your own stunt. Which was really scary. Like, I, I literally could have hurt people. Or Did you? Seriously. No, thank goodness. So it must have been safe in some sort of capacity, but... Yeah, that was crazy. And like at one scene, we were filming, well, a few scenes, from 1 p.m. to 5 a.m. in the morning. How do you stay so, awake? Uh, Liao and I actually sang uh, Ain't No Mountain High Enough during it. We were literally like so sleep deprived. When it hit like 1 o'clock in the morning, we were just like, hey, ain't no mountain high. She's like, ain't no valley low. It was fantastic. Awesome. And then with Ross behind you, of course, we have to talk about Austin and Allie. Yes. That prom kiss that set the world like oh, on I fire. Know. Craziness. So in this new season, are we going to get more of the kissing? Well, in this new season, finally something is happening that has never happened before. Austin and Allie are actually in a healthy, long-lasting, romantic relationship. So Which is crazy. And yes. I want to know, from the Austin and Allie cast, who do you think has the best hair? Um, gosh, they all have really good We're hair. We're talking about you. Yeah, Who I has mean, the best hair in the cast? I think, I think Rainey's going to have to win. Especially because she also has my sister's curly hair. But you guys always have good hair. You have, I mean, you have great okay. hair right now. Serious question, serious question. He had to, Austin, Ross had to give up a lot for his relationship with you. I know. In this show. What have you had to give up for a relationship before? It's, it's Caleb. I think, uh... You have to make sacrifices when it comes to relationships. I just know, this is sad, but like my relationship with my work, um, I've had to make a lot of sacrifices. Like for when I was in high school, I couldn't join the clubs or anything that I could because I was a working, so working. So, before I let you go, can I just play a quick rapid fire with you? Like super quick. Okay, so if you were homeless, what would your sign say? I love the world. Yay! Okay, uh, favorite Disney Channel original movie? Really hard. Um, Halloween Town, but also Xenon's. Oh, Xenon was awesome. Both of those were awesome. Amazing. Current girl crush. Oh, it changes all the time. I think Jennifer Lawrence. Uh, she's kind of amazing. Flawless. Okay, if I were to get on your iTunes right now, highest played song? Uh, Somebody to Love by Queen. And Every Time You Lie by Demi Lovato. <laughs> I love it. Okay, last person you texted, and what did you say? The last person I texted, I think, was my cousin, who happens to be here, and she's like, I'm here, and I was like, yay, you're here. Be sure to click over to the left if you want to check out a rundown of the guys who Miley Cyrus has dated, or if you'd rather hear about the gals Harry Styles has dated, you can click to the right.